Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome to another Pygame tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be moving towards uh, finding the solution to how we uh, will know when there has been a collision uh, of our shell. Basically right now, where the collision will be on the ground. So whenever that shell crashes into the ground, where is the X and Y of that? So there's a couple of things that we could do. But for example, I just fired the shell. Let me bring it up here. And you'll see that uh, the shell never actually, the height again is 600. The shell never actually hit 600. And you'll see that the difference between here and here, we've got a 23 pixels movement along the Y. And along the X, we had um, eight. But eight pixels, can't add up, eight, turns out eight isn't too much, but like the difference between, it could be up to 10 pixels or 15 pixels or even 20 pixels, and we wanna know exactly where along the, you know, Y did that shell really hit. Um, and so there's a few things that we can do about that. Um, I'm trying to see if, um, since we called that quit before the shell actually hits the ground, so like this one's actually pretty good. It hit 599. Um, I don't think we'll ever see a uh, 600 just because we cancel it out before we ever get there. But, um, but as you can see, we get like 588 and all kinds of other numbers possibly uh, before we actually get our answer. So anyway, what can we do uh, to find out where that crossover occurred? So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down into uh, the fire shell function and here's where we ask uh, if the shell is greater than display height. If it is, fire equals false now. So what I want to do is it, within here, what we can do is we can say, um, let's just make some space. We can say uh, we can print and we can print last shell and we can say last shell was, what was it? And then we'll just say uh, starting shell zero comma starting uh, starting shell one so we know what the last shell was um, and then what we can do is we can basically use cross multiplication to find within decent reason where that shell was so we won't necessarily get the arc but we'll get basically the a straight line between those two those two points right and within a pretty good degree, certainly a better degree than what we have like using like the last shell location, um, we can find out where that shell would have hit if it actually did hit. So what we can say is we can say hit underscore x equals uh, the integer of uh, starting shell zero times uh, display underscore height and then um, and really this is all one thing here that divided by starting shell one and then we would say hit underscore y uh, easy enough is the int of display underscore height so what's happening there um, let me, well, let, let's go ahead and print out impact as well. So we'll say uh, print uh, impact colon hit underscore x hit underscore y. So let's save and run that. And let's go ahead, we'll take this, we'll fire the shell, boom. We'll bring this up. The last shell location that we knew about was actually 317.612. So our best estimation for the true impact if that shell was allowed to continue would have been 310 and 600. So how do, how do we actually get that? Uh, you saw the function, but I do just want to uh, exemplify how we do that. It's just cross multiplication. So we are basically asking the question, x over uh, 600. So this is the x, 600 is the y, right? So x is uh, width, this is your height. 
and then we say equals, and the last shell was 317 and 612. So equals three, wow, that's a really bad three. 317 uh, over 612, beautiful. So, um, so then what, what we do is we use cross multiplication here and we say basically 612x equals 600 times 317. And that's really the equation. And what this boils down to is 600 times 317 divided by 612. That's basically what x equals. So that's what we're doing in our function. So when we come back to this, we're saying starting shell 0 times the display height divided by starting shell 1. And that's, we're doing cross multiplication, but that's how we convert it into a one-liner algorithm for Python. So that's how we can calculate where this shell actually impacted on, on the you know, screen. So anyways, now that we have an impact, we can, then, um, we can then build where we actually might um, you know, make an explosion or where we can say, okay, this is where the shell exploded. So that's what we have to look forward to in the coming videos, so stay tuned for that.